Okay, in this video, what we want to do is we want to be able to use the areas or the probabilities or the proportions to find a z-score value on a table. So we have our three examples down here that we're going to use. The first example is to find a z-score with a probability of 0.0071. So what we have to do is we have to come in here and look for the probability where it says 0.0071. So if we come over here and we look on the right side, these numbers are a little bit larger. If we go over here, you will see that we will find the following. There is the probability of 0 0.0071. And now we need to associate what is the z-score that is with that. So if we move to the left, it's going to be giving us the beginning part of that z-score. So it's negative 2.4, and the last digit is 5. So therefore, this z-score would be negative 2.45. Okay, now let's say we want to find the z-score with a probability of 0 0.7, sorry, excuse me, 0 0.7025. So if we come up over here on the right side to look for it, Okay, we will look and find 0 0.077025, and unfortunately, it's not listed there, but it's in between the values of 0 0.7019 and 0 0.7054. So those are the two values that it's in between. Okay, and now what we want to do is, when we look at this number, or this probability of 0 0.7025, is it closer to the one on the left? Or is it closer to the one on the right? Well, if we look here, it is closer to the area to the left. So that means we're going to choose 0 0.7019. So now going back up over here, we're going to go to the area of where 0 0.7019 is. Scroll to the left, which is the beginning part of our z-score, which is 0 0.5. And the last part is 0.3 or 0 0.03. So therefore, our z-score is going to be 0.53. Okay, now the last scenario that we would want to find is find the z-score with a probability of 0.9500. So if we come up here and we want to look for 0.9500, well, if you notice here, it's not in there exactly, but we can see that it's in between 0.9495 and 0.9505. So it's in between those two numbers. Okay, but if you notice here that the difference between the lower one and the higher one is the same. So therefore, in this scenario, what we have to do is we need to look at what is the z-score for 0.9495 well, for 0.9495, we see that it's 1.64. And then also for 0.9505, it's 1.65. So therefore, it gives us those two z-scores. So when it's exactly close to each one of them, we need to find the average of those two z-scores. So we would take 1.64 plus 1.65 and divide it by 2 to give us a z-score of 1.6. Four, five. So these are the three scenarios and we want to find the z-score when we're giving the area using the table.